Hi, this is a video about my new tool with which you can twist certain new values. This can be very useful, so let's jump into DaVinci and I will show you what I mean. So here in DaVinci I have this test image and it is pretty easy to adjust certain new values. For example, I can use a color warper, click on this icon and then I can rotate the U value. I can also use a DZTL to shift certain U values. But what if I only want to change the U value in my brighter area and not in the shadows? Or only in the shadows and not in the brighter area? So I've created a new tool to solve this problem. And the tool is called U-Twist. And with U-Twist we can twist certain U value. Here for example blue. But I can also twist cyan, magenta, yellow, red, green and so on. So this is before and this is after. So let's take a closer look at blue. So when I twist the blue values to the right, now we have more cyan in the highlights and more magenta values in the shadow area. Then there's also this curve intensity slider where I can change the intensity of the curve. And there is a luma threshold slider where I can adjust the luma value. So now I will show you some real world footage. This was shot on the red camera and here I have a CGST from red, white, gamma to rec 709. And here in the background we have this foggy scene. And this is very bluish. We can see it here in our vectorscopes. And with the U-Shift tool I can shift the blue color more towards magenta or more towards cyan but I'm not able to shift the highlights towards cyan and the shadow area more towards magenta. And with the U-Twist tool, this is possible. I can move the blue slider to the right. Then I will change the curve intensity and will lower the luma threshold. And now we can see that we have more magenta in the dark area and more cyan in our highlights. So this is before and this is after. And we can also see that we don't affect our skin tone. So if we are using lift gamma gain, we would change the gain also in the skin tones but with U-Twist, we only change the specific U-value. I can also move the slider in the other direction. And now we have magenta in our highlights and green in our shadows. So it's a completely different look. So this is before, we have blue in our background and this is after. So now we have magenta in our highlights and green in our shadows. Which might look a bit weird, but it can be very useful in certain situations. So here we have magenta in our highlights and green in the shadows. But I can also switch it and now I have cyan in our highlights and magenta in our shadows. So I will switch the slider so you can see the effect. And you can also notice that we don't have much bending artifacts going on. The tool might be also useful to recreate certain film characteristics. So here's another test image and first I will apply a color space transform to Cineon Filmlog 
and then I will pick up the Rec 79 Kodak 2383 LUT by DaVinci Resolve and I will drop it in the last node. And now let's have a look at the vector scope here. So this is before the LUT is applied to the RGB image and this is after. We can observe that certain U values are shifting in different directions. So a bit towards green and a bit towards cyan and we can make it more visible. So here in the edit page I crop the image and we can observe the different U values. So let's select this U value. So this is before and this is after and we can observe that this U value will be more shifted towards cyan, but the shadow area will be more pushed towards blue. So this is before and this is after. So this is the LUT and here's the recreation. And the recreation was pretty simple. So first I was using my U-Shift tool and I moved the slider here more towards cyan. Then I applied the U-Twist tool and I will reset the values here and I'm shifting the blue twist slider to the right and now I'm adding more cyan in the highlights and shift the shadow area more towards blue. So here's the LUT and here's our version. So now I can also increase the curve intensity. Now it looks like this. And I can also change the Luma threshold. And here in the last node, I also added a density DCTL where I can change the density for cyan. So here we can see the LUT and this is a recreation by using the U-Twist tool. So this is before and this is after and we have more cyan in our highlights and more blue in our shadows. And this is very similar what we see here in our LUT. So I showed you the main U-Twist DCTL which looks like this. But of course sometimes we only want to adjust the bright area or the dark area of our image. So I added two more details to the pack and this one here is called U-Twist High and with U-Twist High we can only adjust the bright area here and we can also adjust the curve intensity and the luma range and we can see that I only shift the bright area of blue towards cyan or more towards magenta. And we can soften this up a bit. And now we have a really smooth transition if we look at the image here. And here's a U-twist low. And with low we can adjust the shadow area of our image. So this transition might look a bit weird because we are going from a dark color to a very bright U value here in the shadows, but we can use a density DCTL after this U twist low DCTL. And in this DCTL with a density slider, we can add more density to cyan. And now we have a very smooth transition between different U values, which looks very natural. So as you can see, the U-Twist detail works perfectly fine together with the color shift details. And let me demonstrate this on some footage here. 
So again, we have here some bright blue and some dark blue. And with the U-Twist tool, it is very easy to push the bright areas more towards cyan and the shadow area more towards magenta. So this is before and this is after. But of course, we can also do the exact opposite. We can shift the brighter area more towards magenta and the dark area more towards cyan. So this is before and this is after. And now it looks like this. And in this example, maybe I want to darken the cyan part here. Then I can go to the density detail and increase the density. The best way to get a better feel for the tool is to download the free demo version from my website. And the demo version, you can see it here, it will add some black grid over your footage, but it is fully functional. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you next time.